Hey, what's up you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. So I wanted to cover this docker file by a good friend of mine called ZPrototype. And what docker is, it's basically a virtual machine and I know I'm kicking a lot of people in the shins right here. Because it's not, I know that, it's a container. But a container can be easily described like a virtual machine without all of the extraneous dependencies that come along with the virtual machine. So what does this mean? It means that we build basically our entire Docker file from scratch and we only include exactly what we need. Now, this Docker file is something that the Zebra type uses for his own bug bounties. And in here you can start, you can see that the base image being used is Ubuntu 20.4. Uh, and then we have the environment being set to TZ Europe Berlin. Then we have a run. So this is going to run a specific command and it's going to run Debian front end, non interactive. And it's going to do all of the things that you need to do to get started, like the update, the upgrade, auto clean, auto remove, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, install um, the TZ data. Um, everything that's in here um, going to run so simple as that that's that then it's also going to run a wget command for um, downloading the linux signing key the public signing key for linux uh, and it's going to use that to um, let's see here well it's not that important um we're going to run a pip3 command we're going to install rich data classes json which is going to be a python dependency uh, which is going to be useful later on for some python files and then we're going to run some git commands for git cloning uh, into the slash opt directory and pay in mind this is going to be the um the containers slash opt directory so not your a hosts opt but the containers opt directory and it's going to download things like sublister apk leaks um sec lists it's going to download all of that stuff into the uh, opt folder and then it's going to go and install the sublister by executing setup pi uh, and the install command uh, for that and then it's also going to run um, the specific tools like it's going to get a tom nums unfurl it's going to set the go module environment variable then it's going to grab things like subfinder you can see you know, it's grabbing fuff right here so as you can see what this docker file allows us to do is it's basically going to allow us to very easily grab all of the tools that are being used in a bug bounty environment and you can very easily run it because all you have to do is get the docker desktop uh, and then you need to pull in this file and then you can start a container with this configuration now if you want you can also have some local storage as well which is connected to your container but i have a complete docker guide on that as well if you're interested this is something i found really interesting because of course a lot of the tools that I use are in here and I can start directly adding my tools that I need from this particular docker file. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching everybody and thank you very much my good friend Z Prototype for creating this file. Um, it's I like it because it's simple and I don't mean that in a bad way because I mean it's simple as a way as it's very understandable and it's easy to explain this stuff. So um, there are other options that you can do with Docker besides the run, the env and the from, um, but we'll save that for another video. Thank you very much for watching Amazing Hackers and I will see you in the next one.